Hey, Donna. Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me, Donna. Pretty please. Can you hear me now? Roger Dodger. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> How you doing? Did you have a good turkey day? Hi. Okay, great. I had to, um, I'm glad I came down a little bit early to set up because I had, um, we had to exchange our, our Verizon modem. And I forgot about my webcam being uh, on wireless to broadcast. And I'm down here trying to set it up and thinking, what do you mean it's not recognizing my camera? And then I thought, oh Lord, I had to go up and get the 20-digit uh, password and got it set up finally. So I thought I would um, cooked all day. We got off easy this year because we went to my brother's and we only had to take a couple side dishes. Uh, my world famous, if I must say, macaroni and cheese, and I took a sweet potato casserole. Um, they did the turkey and all that kind of good stuff there. My niece took sides, my mom took pies, and we had a good old time. I give everybody a couple more minutes to see who might want to jump on. Hey, Trina. Hello. Thanks for joining everybody. All right, I'm gonna start getting myself sorted out here. I pulled out some, um, yes, Judy can bowl it, bolios, bolos or something they're called. Yeah, they're kind of fun. Oh, Donna, I got a good recipe for you if you want me to send it to you. It's very simple. It's nothing fancy at all. Um, I just, I add green chilies to it. And I think that really makes the difference. So if you would like that, I'll, I'll mail it to you. So I pulled out some different papers that I got, um, that I never use. And I love these papers. Um, I got them at Dick Blick. The Mothership in Chicago when I was there for work last, jeez, I guess that was in May. And haven't used them, but we're going to tear up some of this and use it tonight. I love this. This I got, this was a big sheet, and I'm down to what you see here. But I got to get more of this. I love this. It is good. It's just, um, you cook the noodles, use elbows, and, um cook and drain those and then I layer them in a casserole dish. I layer, you know, I layer noodles to cover the bottom. And then I get um, the big super bag of the shredded sharp cheddar cheese and the shredded Monterey Jack. And I layer the cheddar, the Jack, and then about a third of a can. No, let's see, it's about, I guess it's two thirds. I use two cans, two of the small little flat cans of, of the, um, the chilies. So I spread them among three layers. So do the math accordingly. What's that? Two thirds a can per layer. Um, and then uh, another layer of noodles, jack cheddar chilies, noodles, jack cheddar chili. Then I beat in uh, uh, two to three eggs to two to three cups of milk, an egg per a cup of milk. Add some salt and pepper, beat it up. Um, and I say two to three because it depends on the pan. You want the milk to rise up till it's like maybe 
a quarter inch under the top layer of noodles. You don't want it to bubble up and goo up your your uh, oven because it will. And then I dot butter all over the top of it after I pour the milk, egg, salt, and pepper in it. Dot butter on there, a little more salt and pepper on the top. Shove that baby in, and an hour later, mama. Mm. Good stuff. I found, I got this paper pack the last time it was up there too. So I think these were, these are Nepalese latka papers. And eco-friendly decorative papers. So I'll see if I need a colored paper. And then I, I threw some of my stamps that I like on some of that art grade tissue. And might incorporate those in as I collage it up a little bit, maybe. Um... So we'll see what I come up with. This is the dreaded paper from that fast forwarded um, new camera experiment the other day. This is where it ended up. I threw some ink on it, I think, after I wrapped up the video. I was trying out that new camera, the video camera, which, which is nice. I think I got the hang of that. iMovie, the new iMovie, shoot me now. So, I know it's got to be as simple as the other one, because smarter people than me were working on upgrading that thing. But I'm telling you what, I cussed that thing every which way to Sunday, and the editing was so difficult. Um, I know I'm not the brightest person in the world, but I can usually figure that out, but it wasn't coming to me. I spent so much time on it, and I thought, screw it. I'm just going to find out how to fast forward this puppy and let it go, because I was either going to ditch it or do that, so... I did. I don't like fast forward videos myself. I don't mind the drawing time, but you know, to lose what I'm talking about and, and why. I hated to do that, but it was a two hour long number. Ugh, I'd have still been edited that, editing that sucker. So I had to let it go. But I found out that I still have the old version of iMovie on my computer. So guess what I'll be using? So here's that, uh, here's where it ended up. I'll try to get up. I don't have the zoom on my webcam like I do on my new camera. So I can only use that for YouTube because it's not a webcam, it's just a video camera. So I don't, I'm not using this like it as a canvas. I'm just gonna use it to, you know, cut up pieces and cover journals or something, or maybe my next um, planner that I make. Use a chunk of this somewhere to cover my next planner. So that's what, um, that's what my thinking is. So today I'm going to paint on this Strathmore Bristol. It's a smooth and it's 11 by 14 with trying again to cha channel Jane Davies. <laughs> oh, she's going to love this. But um, yeah, I hope I don't do her too bad, but I love her stuff, and it's just so free-flowing that you'd think it would be hard to screw up, wouldn't you? <laughs> it is not that hard, people. Let me tell you, not that hard, but, um, you know, it's all in the eye of the beholder, right? So, um, we're going to give her another go, pick out some brushes here, figure out what I want to do, get some paint on my palette. This one's really like too big. This holds so much paint. These new Catalyst brushes, I showed this the other day on that video. It really, really, really holds a lot of paint, which is great. When it's not great is when you want to switch colors and wash it out. Your water is like immediately a... Um, Call from oh one, Lord. Zero, two, eight, eight, six, two, two, okay, great. That's my doctor's office. Sorry, hang on. This is Patty. Hello? Hello? Oh Lord, it's a recording. I know I have an appointment. Sheesh. Um, so, yeah, but when, you, so it holds so much, which is good, but again, changing the colors, it was like a quicksand in my water bucket before I got two colors done. And I don't have a, one of these. These are not cheap, but I don't have one of these for every color, so. I'm going to abandon this brush. Bring in a couple old faithfuls over here. 
Oh, they give me enough of an assortment, huh? So, I know I ripped off a piece of paper. What the hell am I going to do with it? There we go. Don't anyone panic. Well, Trina, I hope you're still excited when you get, <laughs> when we get done this mess. Um, no, really. I, I think it's I think it's fun and easy to do. I'm just being sarcastic when I say that stuff. I usually like what I end up with. Um, I don't mean to sound like I'm always bitching about what I do, because I do like what I end up with eventually. That hump when you're getting over it. Eh, not so good part way, but that's part of the process. So I'm going to throw a little bit of colors down on my palette. Where am I on the on, Why is this so far away? Must have my tripod in a different place. I need to mark little X's on my on my desk so I know where I am. All right, let me get some stuff down here. I'm going to use some um, Quin Red for one pretty bright red and where are you my um the Quinn Azo Gold Nickel Azo Gold love that color this stuff goes a long way too um I don't know what else I'm going to use this I only have this gray in this cheaper color um you know, just the Liquitex Basics number, but eh, it's okay. That'll work for what I'm going to do, I'm sure. And, you know, I might use a Basics white. Oh, here I have a Studio uh, PBO. Just a plain white. Throw some of that down. That's the paint tube. Don't even get any ideas. Um, and I think I need to throw some turquoise in there, but we'll figure that out when I get there. I gotta get there and, and feel it. <laughs> Genevieve, hi! Girl, it's late for you, isn't it? I'm glad you got to, to join in. I need oh you know what I'm missing an inky binky hang on let me grab a rag you know I'm gonna need one oh Trina the whole time I'm down here I'm talking to myself it's it, if the video wasn't on right now I'd probably be having the same conversation Marianne, I'm happy to see you on the chat. That's great. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. It's like, ooh, the blank page said draw. What am I going to do? No idea. Let's start with some Quinn Red. I mean, how bad can that be, right? Ooh, what a pretty color. It's kind of almost a purpley red. I don't know how that shows up on the camera. I look like I, I could launch a launch a moon rocket or a spaceship or something by the I got my iPad, my computer going, the webcam going. This is really smooth paper too. I like the way that takes the paint. I do I do. Let's put some somewhere else too. And I have nothing in mind for this other than slapping some paint, putting colors together that I like. This isn't paper that I could use um, to cover anything, but if it ends up halfway decent, um, I think what I will do is maybe um, cut it up and do that like a postcard kind of thing that Jane Davies does. My friend Ellen Vargo um, 
artist extraordinaire. She, um, you ought to check out her blog. It's 1036 Arts. Um, she does, well, I don't even want to say something similar. It's, she does some painted papers. She doesn't use any brushes. It's all brayered. And then she goes back and, and cuts it up into like quarters. And I've seen her frame some of those after she does. And then she goes back and she adds, uh, I guess doodles would be the right word. Some of her marks, stamps, her own personal um, rubber stamps that she's made, which are gorgeous. Um, and, uh, you know, cuts some quarters it and then frames it in shadow boxes and, and uh, mounts it. Oh, Gen why was I thinking, Genevieve, that you were in London? What the hell was I thinking? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who can be responsible for that? Um, let's see. Let me do some... The brush is a little stiff. Let me get her wet. I think I'm going to put some neutral down, some gray. really see the brush marks in this gray on this maybe because it's the cheaper paint huh how about that the paint this paper smooth paper you can really see a difference in it I'm not I'm not watching the chat right now so I'll look up when I can so I'll try to give you guys a heads up if you have a question when I'm going to take a break and look up um, and see what's going on there chat amongst yourselves this may not even be the right paper to use for this. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a shocker? That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Ontario. Huh. Love the color you're using. And will you do a video of how you make the planner? Uh, oh, that's nice. Um... I did do a flip through of the video. It was such a disjointed process, Donna, that I didn't, um, it was, you know, I did a little here, a little there, then I went back and tweaked it, and then I went back and tweaked it. So, um, it wasn't, it wasn't really something that, I guess I could try to do something similar just to show you that the, um, uh, Kind of like what my thought process was and how I did it. How I did the little folders and stuff. Um, basically, I took a Moleskine. Uh, and it, it's a soft cover one. It's 7 by 10 inches, which I, I really love that size. Um, it's small enough to fit in a purse pretty easily and to handle. But it's big enough to get, you know, a good bit of information in there. So, um, I... Uh, I could do something. Shut a bug. Hi, Susan. Um, I just I decided to paint on some paper and um, see just see what I come up with with some layers, maybe some collage thrown in, sort of a Jane Davies esque kind of thing. If only I wish. But um, that's my that's my thinking, and uh, that's my plan so far. So I'm just, I'm using some Bristol 500 Smooth, which I'm not convinced is the right way to go. I'd love to know what kind of paper Jane uses. Um, and, uh, well, I'm going to be taking some of her classes, actually, at Art and Soul next year, which they moved the damn dates. It's, instead of April, it's got to wait till next September into early October. But I'm going. Let me know if anybody goes. We'll try to hook up and do something, or maybe we're in the, some of the same classes. But I am taking a couple of Jane Davies classes there. It's the Art and Soul Retreat in Virginia Beach in 14. That be the one. Let's see. 
I'm going to go over this because that's kind of sheer and change that color a little bit there. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> this is, I'm trying to be kind of mindless about what I'm doing. That'll be probably pretty simple. <laughs> I, um, today, I, um, part of the reason I'm doing this, I guess, is I went, I'm not a Black Friday shopper, ain't gonna see me out there, not even on a bet. Um, I know, Erica, I forget everybody's names too. <laughs> So I, my, one of my girlfriends has one of her friends in from North Carolina uh, for the holiday. And her friend has kind of limited funds and wanted to do some wise shopping and some uh, consignment shops up here, which we have quite a few nice ones, especially around Annapolis. So they asked me if I wanted to go. So I thought, yeah, yeah, well, I'll go with you, even though I was dreading the Black Friday deal. However, um, it wasn't bad in the consignment shops. So we went there, and while she was in one of the consignment shops, we walked next door, and there was a little art gallery. All local people's art was in there. And we walked in. They had some ceramics, some mixed-media stuff. And I start looking at the prices. And they had these little canvases, maybe this big square. They might have been a three-by-three three square. I mean, they were a tiny canvas. And it was mixed media, and it was sitting on a little tiny wooden easel like you'd buy at Michael's in, in the wood unfinished section. It was okay. It wasn't anything that really grabbed me. There was some, you know, texture to the background and some little flowered beads. Um, I forget exactly what was on there. A little bit of sparkle. 90 friggin' dollars for that thing. And I thought, you have got to be kidding me. I am in the wrong business, people. And then I went around the corner and on the wall, they had a painting. It was probably, oh, it was on a piece of paper and then it was mounted and framed. And it was probably as big as my newsprint that I'm working on here, which is, what is that? Maybe 15 by 24, something like that. It was acrylics. Hi, thanks for joining. Um, I'm trying to watch the chat. Think, paint, it's not working. I chew gum, I'll be on the floor. Um, so look at this painting. I thought, I kind of like that. And I'm looking at it and it's acrylic and it's mostly gray and white. It's got a little splash of this or that in it and some wild kind of black paint lines through it at the end and a little pop of red was through it and I thought oh that doesn't you know that looks like something that anybody could do and I looked at it, it was six hundred and ninety five dollars I thought you gotta be kidding me people so I don't know I'm just saying seemed a little crazy to me but what the hell do I know So I thought maybe I'll paint a little bit more and get my get my skills in order and see if I can get her to uh, throw some of my stuff in there and see what happens. Now what the hell? God, some of my brushes brushes are crunchy. I think so too, Don. It what it really, honestly, if it was really all that special or her, or the materials she used were, you know, something that warranted that price. But, I mean, I know the gallery's got to make a cut. Yeah, I get all that. But, um, oh, lordy, people. I really like the way this, um, I don't know if you can see it, where that kind of third color is going into the red, where the, the, um, uh, Azo Gold layered over the Quinn Red. There's kind of a, it's real subtle, but I can see it. Where can I show you? Er, get back there. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Here we go. Wow, that is hard to see, isn't it? Hang on, hold, put your seat belts on, people. Right there. See that line? Well, trust me. 
if it comes out where the hood, I'll do some stills later and you can uh, uh, see it on that. But now I'm going to do something Jane Davies does for some texture. Um, ooh, Denver Art Week. An art walk. Oh, I want to go. <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. That's um. You can buy those materials for for a couple bucks, really. And um. I don't know. What the hell do I know? Honestly. This is just teal. This isn't my cobalt turquoise that I'm hoarding. <laughs> I'm going to blend a little bit here and see what happens. I kind of like this just mindless to slap some stuff around. That almost sounds angry. I'm not an angry person, really. I'm going to try to layer some of that over here. Let's see if I can pick up any. Oh, I do see a little bit of red through that. Hang on, let me try to grab a little bit more. I'll show you. Close up. I wish this camera had a zoom on it like my new video camera does, but, you know, see that little bit of the kind of the red coming through there? It's not that clear, is it? But you can see that. So let's try it a couple more times. Where do we want to go? Let's try it. Let's go down here and cover this a little bit. And this right through there. Where am I? I'm off camera. Good Lord. I kind of did this, oops, little smeary texture. That didn't quite get it as much, but I think I might have had a thicker layer than was really necessary, but eh, what are you going to do? Let me put a little chunk of this over here somewhere. Teal, I'm noticing, is much thicker than the Quinn colors um, and going on more like dry ish. Like, I'm really having to pull it even on this smooth paper. Yep, so let me. What do I want to do? Get crazy? Do I want to get crazy? No, I know it's not made anymore, but you know what? I um, I was on Dick Blick's site uh, probably, God, over a year ago, and they it wasn't made then. And I, um, <laughs> I was looking for different golden paints. I was trying to collect them little by little as I could afford to. And um, I just thought, oh, for the hell of it, let's put, goo let's put, uh, um, cobalt teal in the search engine on Dick Blick. It took me to the four ounce bottles. They were marked down to I think they were $11 a bottle and I grabbed 10 and checked out before anybody knew what happened. And I got those suckers, shared them with my friends and uh, ordered a couple for myself. I think I have two left. Urgh. Let's see. The mineral I really couldn't be found anymore. So, yeah, something, something was either they considered it dangerous, um, toxic, 
or they couldn't, yeah, they couldn't find it, it was too expensive or something, but something about toxicity is ringing a bell to me. Um, but, um, yeah, I know, right? Mother load. But, it's gone. Well, all but two bottles, but I'm hoarding those puppies, don't you know it? So, let me see. I think I need to paint over some of this stuff. I hear Miss Davy saying, get rid of some of the color. Bring it down. So, where do I want to do that? Hmm. Where do I want to do that? Oh, look. Here's a good spot. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Let's get some white down there and get rid of some of that color. Oh, I got, oh, look, got a blob of gray on me brush. Let's just go with it, shall we? Somebody's telling me that's what should be there, so we're going to just go along with that, that idea. <laughs> oh, I actually kind of like it. Let's try lifting up a little bit of that and see what happens. Yeah, it's kind of misty. You can kind of see all three things underneath of there. Um, where's my white? More white. I do believe. Oops. Ooh, sorry about that. Knocking the camera around. Try to get this. Hang on. I'm going to tilt this a little bit to try to get me easier in frame. This camera is, um, it's got a funny mount on it. It's just a little magnetic ball that fits in a socket. And when you get it right, it's good. But it, there we go. That's a little bit better. Yep, I'm going to roll with it, Trina. See what the hell happens. Who knows? Curling up a little bit though. Um, hmm. That gray's kind of boring me. It's not a pretty gray. It's like a dead elephant on my page. Get rid of some of that. Let's see. This is, I love this color, but this is not the color red I was going for. And it, on my computer, it's coming out looking like a true lipstick red, but it's very pinky red. I don't know if with the light difference, if you can see that or not. He's still pretty. Well, we're going to blur it up for you. <laughs> Um, let's see. Maybe a beigey color. Where's my hang on. There it is. Let's try some of this stuff too. Get a little warmer color. So maybe that's what I don't like. Oop. Paint tube again. Maybe that's what I'm not liking the gray. Because I'd rather have it like a warmer color like the rest of the palette, maybe. Usually I like that little pop, but I guess the blue will take care of that. Let's try that. See if that makes me a little happier. Lord knows we want Mama happy. <laughs> um.
Oops. Yeah, I think that's better than the gray. Yeah, ruby is actually a good way to describe that, Erica. <laughs> okay, well, here we are. <laughs> um... wild about that little bit right there either. I like to keep turning it around and seeing it different. It's funny when you do that, you can, at least for me, um, it looks you know, you see it different at all the angles, and it's like, oh, this could go there. That would be good. Um, you know what? I'm going to dry this a little bit. Heat gone. <laughs> couple months ago, I put on my Facebook page, um, if, if you guys aren't a member of my art Facebook page, um, it's Inky Obsessions, the same as my Ustream channel. I put all my art stuff out there, and I post more, way more out there. Hey, Lou Jean! Thanks for joining us! Um, it's so much quicker for me to do that than try to put a blog post out, which... It's not good for my blog, but I only got so many hours in a day. Pam, pet pamper is Lou Jean. Um, what the hell was I saying? Ugh. I know I had a point in there. Oh, 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 oh. I'm back. I had a little mental shut down there um on my blog a couple months ago i sort of eluded at something big that was going on in the background that i couldn't say anything about and i still still can't say anything about it but i can tell you that it's uh moving along um and i got an email uh to wednesday um and it's a little bit further along than I thought. So, uh, hopefully, I'll be able to announce that soon. And it's really exciting for me. I, I hate to be the big tease, but, you know, I got to do that. But you'll know soon enough. As soon as I can say something for sure, I will... Um, I'll do that. Almost dry here. Good enough. So, let's see. What do I have here? I'm not feeling the gold on this one. What the heck do I have in here? Let's see what's in here. Oh, great. Thanks, Trina. Good Lord, I just dropped 
the bag through my beige paint. Now I have beige paint. Not that it matters all over me because I got one of my paint shirts on, but hey. <laughs> All right, let's see if, actually, the sample page is kind of, kind of nice. Oh, that green's pretty. Not the right yellow. Eh, I moved away from the gray, but I like that little pattern. Ooh, it's in brown, too. Huh. Maybe. Wow, that's heavy. That's just the, uh, the innards. Ooh, this is cute. That's brown is pretty with that. I like that design. Oh, look, I have it in red. Oh, look. That's kind of a palette on the thing, huh? Um, Erica, that's the circles. That's a... It's a fiber paper. Um, and it's just thicker fiber in circles. Um, to form the pattern. I'll see how close I can get with that. I got it at Dick Blick at one of the stores when I was in, and it is called Beehive White 12 by 12. Can you guys see that? No. No, it's too blurry. So the number is SB, like Steve Benjamin, 2530. It's called Beehive White, 12 by 12. It was only like a dollar or something a sheet, I think. Um, all right, let me make let me make a decision here. Black and pink hearts. Don't need those. All right, let's get rid of these. Do my process of elimination. I'm still here. Are you still there? Oh. All right, let's see what we get. Come on, work with me, people. Work with me. Get my hands moving here. Red's kind of off from that red. That's not looking so good. What do you think the red? These two I know will work. So we're going to go with this. Look at that decision. I'm going to put this right down here and use that edge. So I don't have to cut off and throw out that. I'll tear this one so it's a little raggedy. I don't like to put the cut edges on there for some reason. Using collage, collage Podge. I love this stuff. I don't know. I like it better than Met Medium, I guess. I don't know why. Maybe because I like Tra Tracy Bautista. Ooh, I might have overdone it with the Collage Podge right here. We'll see. This is real fibery paper, too, so I don't know uh, how good of an idea that is, but eh, we will find out soon enough. I'm going to put a whole coat on here because it's really dry and sucking that up. I don't want it to just paint get on there in the next layer and just kind of stall over it, you know what I mean? Know what I mean, Vern? All right. Let's, let's grab a little chunk. A little chunk of dunk. Oops. That kind of ripped kind of funky. Ah, let's go with it.
yeah I like the um, the finish of it too um, it does seem to dry fast it's more liquidy I think than some of the brands of gel medium Maybe this will end up in that little art gallery in Annapolis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling some of this. Bring a little black in there. Needs a little pop of black. I used to have the um, sticker saved for this so I could reorder. I wonder what safe place I put that in. Oh, God. What do you use instead, Erica, of Collage Posh? You used one of the matte mediums, I assume? I like the black on there. Gotta tell you. Let me see what stamps I have. What do I have over here? I got collage podge on my elbow and wrist and pinky. Um, maybe, let's see. Here's a little, um, of course everybody probably knows this but me. Going to show you a little trick from Dina Wakely um, on how to cut tissue. Let me see, where's the brush I'm looking for, people? Where are you, mini brush? I just need a little round one. Come here. That'll do. Just take a little round brush. This one's a little bit big, but it'll work. And wet it. And draw on the tissue. And it just tears apart. Just like that. I told Dina when I took her class, I said, this alone, I would have never thought to do. And that was worth the price of admission right there. And it works if you just want to like this edge that's sharp right there that I don't like. I won't see it much anyway, but you could take the take this down there and it just kind of very organically falls apart as you tear it and gets kind of a raggedy edge. I like that. So... Am I feeling this somewhere? Let's let's tear it in half, shall we? Oop, that easy. All of that. <laughs> Where's my? There it is. I'm very heavy-handed on the collage podge tonight. And this, I did this stamping on the Dick Blick Artist Tissue. And this is really fine. I don't know what's any different about any other tissue, honestly. But it's very fine. And, uh... 
it um, it almost goes bye bye when you put it on there. It dry when it dries, it'll pretty much be almost look like it's been stamped on there. Um, let's do something crazy, shall we? So crap. thank you um, this actually this camera is my old um, my webcam it's not the same one I used to do um, my YouTubes with because I can't <laughs> um, maybe I wait for another stamp maybe I wait I think maybe a little bit more paint I'm gonna dry this first um, What the hell was I saying? Oh, the camera. Um, yeah, this is the same one I've always streamed with. It's a webcam. Um, my new video camera is the one I did on my YouTube and stuff. But thank you. I'm glad it's looking good on your end. Kind of thick on this first piece. The damp. So I hope everybody had a good uh, a good Thanksgiving and have a lot to be thankful for. I really like this. I really really do. And I'll be on the hunt tonight when I get upstairs. I'll be on the internet looking for that stuff. You know, I might bring in that red that I really thought I was going to use on my next layer. <laughs> this is still a little damp up here. Okay, Mickey. It's so hard to remember, isn't it? All everybody's IDs. I know. I'm not sure of my real name, honestly. <laughs> um, somebody else did Erica a minute ago, but but they're back, I think. I'm watching, like you guys are watching with my on my iPad. Um, and I'm also watching me live on my camera software. I mean, really live. Um, you know that delay. I'm talking about that delay and and for you stream. I'm like 30 seconds ahead of you guys. Always ahead of you. Ah. All right. I think that's dry enough to continue. And I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take this red, the Quinn red. That really comes out in the water like hot pink, actually. And I'm gonna get rid of that right now. And it's a shame because I got a decent little dauble on my um, on my palette, but you never know what's gonna happen to that. I might mix it with something to get a little darker. But I want red red. Like scarlet. Hello, Scarlet. Um, and let's just do this. And let's run a stripe of you, sort of, right down here. Bring some of that one in. Yeah, 
Yeah, if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have mod podge this paper, <laughs> that would have been like a sponge sucking this paint up. I'm telling you, I tell you right now. painting rectangles all the time. I guess that's a couple of the videos that I watched that um, Jane did. I'm trying to, to feel her process. I don't mean to duplicate her work, but I want to I love her technique and she I know she teaches her classes. But that's why I want to give her credit for whatever I'm doing. It's not my idea. It was her I'm trying to pull it from her her wheelhouse, let's say. Um, blue brush on my right the blue brush oh this one this one probably right I'll stick her in some water thanks I'm telling you I need to be reeled in that's my beige the gray I can put in water because I don't think I'm gonna use that one anymore my white one I'm gonna use gotta keep an eye on me cannot be trusted I'm gonna let's see what am I doing here get myself dizzy spin it in circles Let's get a little bit of more white. Uh-oh. And I'm using white on my Mod Podge brush. <laughs> well, I guess that's okay. Uh, let's go over some of that. Oh, crap. <laughs> I know. Somebody's got to watch me. Honestly. I generally have no clue what I'm doing. It's a wonder I haven't burned down the house, set myself on fire, or poisoned myself, asphyxiated myself. I kid you not, people. Okay, I needed to talk to me. Talk to me. Get rid of this brush right here. Clean that one out. Does anybody do watercolors? I, for some reason, got a hankering to try to do watercolors. I really come to the realization of how I know I cannot draw. But I'm practicing and playing. Okay. What do I need to do here? Talk to me, artwork. Talk to me. What am I not seeing that I need to do? I think it needs more black. Oh yeah, that beeswax is a bitch on the brushes, isn't it? Woo. They're permanently committed. I do have some of the Peerless. I've invested in some tubes of Daniel Smith. Set up a little palette. I wish there was a local class I could go to, honestly, but as far as I know, there is not. Um... All right, what am I doing here? Let's 
Focus, Patty. Focus. Focus, my dear. You need all your brain cells present. Let's see here. Oh, I'll show you what peerless are. Just happen to have them right here behind me. Okay. These are peerless watercolors. And they are pigment on a page. And yep, that's what it is. It's on paper. It's dry. And that one's brilliant yellow. It's their staple behind it, what they are. And that's what they are. They're, they are pigments on paper. You take a wet brush and you, this isn't a watercolor brush, but it's wet. Wet it. Pick up some pigment. And you got some watercolor going on right there. So they're really like super easy to travel with because they're dry. They're not gonna um, spill. I, you know, Erica, I did look at my college uh, classes. There's one. It starts after the first year sometime, but it's um, it's the timing is really would be tough on me actually. It's in the evenings and it's about a half an hour away, and it's I forget how many weeks it is, but. I'm still thinking about it. Put some of the gold stenciled paper on the tan strip. The gold stencil. Oh, hang on. The gold stenciled paper. Um. You mean one of these? I'm not sure which one you meant with that when you said the put some of the gold stenciled paper. Um, which one do you mean? The gold stenciled paper on the tan strip on the left hand side. I guess you mean over here. But I don't know which one you mean. But you know what? Let's go with a strip of that, shall we? Put a little black in there too. Oh, the library. Huh. With a square. Oh! The gold one. The one that I already used. This one here? That's actually just, um, it's embossed in there. That's what kind of threw me. I would like to have a stencil like that though. Maybe it needs, um, let's see. So you're saying throw a chunk of this down here? Ish. You know what I'm thinking about doing? Is doing that, but with, I want to put a chunk of dark in there. Sweet Moses, I can't even tear that. <laughs> Where are my Wheaties when I need them? I wonder what that one looks like going down there with that dark. <laughs> Maybe a little bit under there. Oh, I kind of like that. If you mean over here, yeah, I know. I don't like this, and something's going to happen over there. I'm not sure what, but that ain't going to be there very long. <laughs> I think I think I'm going to put some dark on there. That's what I'm thinking. Why not, she says to herself. Um, now, which one? This one I think I was using. 
God, the other night when I did that paper in that video, I had every brush, every container was so slopped up. Um, it was not good. Let's see. Do I want that down there? Oops, get over there, baby. Yep, that's where she's going now. <laughs> oh, you, you know what? I think you're talking about the Cubist stencil, right? That does kind of look like the Cubist. Yep, I know. I have that too, actually. It's, I love it. And give me another little hunk somewhere. I don't know what this is going on here. But, oh, there it goes. Let's see, I can't rip the damn thing. Ooh, that's fibrous. Um, the Peerless. Uh, let me see if there's a price tag on it. I have a couple different sets because, of course, I went berserk when I first saw them. So, um, here's a set. Transparent watercolors. This is called a bonus pack. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, I guess 40 colors in it. And this is $42.95 for that pack. One of the vendors from the ink the ink pad in New York was set up at Create last year, and I bought them from her. Um, but they have different sets, um, like um, Joanne Sharp. I'm sure you guys know jo Joanne Sharp, right? Hi, Jan. Thanks for joining. Um, Joanne Sharp has her own. Um, I think this is her set. Um, they're really vibrant colors. All the colors she uses in her palette, she uses this. And she sells it a lot of times when she does her classes. They, they actually, the tag actually has her name on it. It's, they're Joanne's colors. And this one is a different special set. It's six different, it's six different colors. And they were a breast cancer special that my Queen's Ink shop had. And they were $8.50 for those six. Uh, they're all pink colors. So, I mean, they're not, so, uh, basically, they end up a little bit over a dollar a card. Very little over a dollar a card. But they last way longer than you'd ever think they would, honestly. And, um, another thing that I like about them, and I've seen several people do this, um, on different videos, where they'll demo their palettes, their travel, travel palettes. They'll go into each one of their pieces of, um, their sheets of the Peerless and cut off a square or a strip and glue those onto in like in a page in their journal or something. And then they've got their palette right there in their journal when they travel. Pretty bright people, I'm telling you. Why can't I think of that stuff? <laughs> Pretty smart people out there, actually. Yeah, they are, they're really nice. And the, they're very vibrant, like I said. Um, feeling the itch to do something here. What am I feeling? Where the hell did my brush go? That's for that. I thought I had a, um, oh crap, let me get another one. <laughs> oh, here it is over here. Lord. Um, I think I'm going to go right up there with some turquoise. Oops, that was overkill. Didn't need all that. Oh, great, your first stream. And um, 
Ladane, is that your name or is that uh, is that one of your screen names? I'm so glad you joined. That's awesome. Hey, Jackie. Cover up that dingy brown underneath of there. That might take a second coat to do that on that part, but that might get covered up anyway, so not too fretting about that. Um. <laughs> Hey, Catherine. Uh, oh, hey, Jess. Trying to catch up on the uh, on the chat. And Jackie, yay! I'm uh, I'm doing something. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm doing something. Um. bold I think some statement piece of something in here maybe one of these is bold enough perhaps let us see this is one of my uh, a handmade rubber stamp that I made however this is not my design my friend Ellen Vargo has such a killer eye, and she made a stamp like this right around the time I was starting to make some of my own. And I, and she knows I did, copied her design, because I had to have one. I kept borrowing, can I borrow that, can I borrow that, can I borrow that? Well, no hell, I better just make me one. That's okay. We really didn't get that far in 40 minutes, trust me. <laughs> But I love spirals and circles, so let's get something more uh, real stark in there. I'm water cutting my... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm very concise, aren't I, Christy? Very concise and to the point. Let's wrap it up, girls. We're done here. That's me. You caught me. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're going to do here. Um. <laughs> what am I doing with you? A little stamp. You know, maybe I need to, um, I might need to throw down a layer of white. Same one from your recent YouTube. No, Pat. My the YouTube one just happens to be right here. That's where I ended up with the, the one from YouTube the other night. And the paper from hell. And the camera episode from hell that I fast forwarded. <laughs> yeah, that was um that's the one you're talking about. This I'm kind of doing the same thing. <laughs> I think I need to come back and go over some of this stuff and block it out with another layer. Yeah, that was a, ended up a two-hour video, and that's why I was having such trouble editing. 
with that new iMovie. I thought, ah, screw it. I'm just going to fast forward it and get it over with because I was almost going to abandon it and not even do anything with it and put it out there. But I thought, then I wasted all that time. I'll just throw it out there. Oh, thanks, Donna. I'm glad you do. Yeah, there's a YouTube video, um, Ladane, that I, um, I did the other night trying to experiment with a new camera. And, um, yeah. The, between the new camera and the new iMovie for editing, I was ready to shoot myself. So, um, but it's out there. I fast-forwarded through an hour and a half of it just because it was getting too painful and I thought, ah, screw it. Oh, thanks, Katie. Yeah, I, um, uh, it's out there on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Patty Parrish. Patty with an I, Parrish, two R's. Um, I don't know if, you, if you're a subscriber to my um, YouTube channel or not. But I'll, I'll upload these videos. I'm recording this now. And I'll upload... Um, I'll upload this one as well. Um, when we get done tonight. Oh, I'm guessing the blue wasn't dry. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, Jess. Yeah, that would be a good idea, huh? Little snippets here and there. I took one of the Dina Wakeley classes I took at the Queen's Inc. a uh, year or so ago. She, Dina talked about her technique that she calls puke on a page. And she had us take a piece of paper and paint and spray ink with stencils and scribble and just do as much, make it as ugly as you could make it. And she kept, nope, not enough. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And we get, she said, now, when it looks like puke on a page, you got it. So we get there, and uh, she said, now, take a circle punch and go find a little spot that you like where this all overlaps the right way and um, punch it out. And now lay it on a piece of a white card, white card stock. And every single flipping one of those pieces was gorgeous. It was, it was crazy how, so you could take, you know, a little snippet like this and, uh, yeah, I could see where that would be set right on a, on a card or something somewhere. Just that little piece of that. I do not like how that's showing through there at all. That's going to have to go. Oh, another Canadian. Great. I get to Canada couple times a year usually for work but it's in uh, Ottawa where we go our offices are there some of our offices are there Oregon cool well it's early for you huh <laughs> all right I'm itching to put a piece of this in here so that's what we're doing next I don't know where it's going right down the side there I'm getting rid of that overlap that looks so gross. Oh, I did. I talked through the whole thing, Jackie. I, um, and I thought, man, I know I'm missing some good shtick here when I'm, when I'm fast forwarded it, but, um, oh, I, I would have shot myself before it was over. Oh, UK. Oh, it's late for you. Thanks for joining, Elsa. Um, yeah, it was, um, it was driving me batshit crazy, I'm telling you. I cussed that thing, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to figure out how to fast forward this bitch, and that's the way it's going. That's what I did. Trying to get that straight edge off of there. This is really fibrous, fibrous paper. I like it. I'm going to use this to get a little pop in there. I know, it's so much nicer when you have people to, to do this stuff with instead of, uh, 
I'm usually down here talking to myself. But actually, I have some um, a new group of art lady friends who um, came over and joined me last Saturday. No, yeah, last Saturday. They came over. There were four of them, plus myself, all crammed in my little basement. And Well, it's not a little basement, but it's a little space, I should say. Um, and uh, we had a good old time. They're going to come back. They want to come back and do more, and they want me to teach. And I don't know what I'm going to teach. I'll teach myself something. But... Um, No kidding. What did we do before we had Ustream and the internet and Facebook and learn? God, I learned so much stuff from YouTube. It's not even funny. I feel like I ought to pay somebody for it. But I am a YouTube hoe, man. I watch the hell out of that stuff. Katie, it's hard to keep up with both. Yeah, I am uh, quite a YouTube nutcase. Hmm. I just had me an idea. I think I know what I need to do. I won't tell a soul, Ladane. <laughs> what happens on Ustream stays on Ustream. Except for now, it's public knowledge to anybody in the world that wants to look. But other than that, just between us. Thanks, Catherine. I don't know where this is going, quite honestly. dry. All right. Now what am I going to do to myself? Now if Jane were here, you know what she would do? She'd take some white paint and just start slapping the whole damn thing out and doing another layer. So I guess that's what we're going to do. <laughs> um, am I? What the hell? It's only paper, people. Yeah, something's got to happen in here for sure. Something's got to happen up in there. All right, let's start slapping. <laughs> you can throw them out there if you got any ideas. Lord knows I need direction. I 
I, Pat, you know what? I was That's what I was thinking when I said, I know what this needs. I was going to take some black paint and make a big, like, black circle somewhere up in here. But I think I'm going to wait and do that after I black out some of this, or white out some of this, I should say. <laughs> I'm seeing spots. Yeah, but I'm going to, I want some stark uh, black and white to pop up in here eventually. I love that colors in the background on the edges a little bit. How about some of your circles with the little lines on the side and the, oh, my little marks I make? Oh, they may end up on here. They usually surface on the top layer. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about like a big black circle like up in here. But first, hang on to your hat, people. A lot of this is coming down. Let's see, I need beige. I think beige instead of white. Oh, and caustics. You know what? Does anybody on here um, participate in the Alcohol Inc. Um, Facebook group? That's a really fun group, but some of the stuff I see on there is freaking awesome. And there's one woman that mixes encaustic with her alcohol inks. I'm telling you, my mouth waters when I look at her stuff. I'm trying to think of her name. Oh. Daisy something, maybe? Daggone, I don't know. Um, I do lamp work beads, Jess. Haven't done them for about a whew, year and a half because I've been doing this stuff, but I have all my whole setup and used to sell jewelry at shows. Um, the link, I don't have the link. It's called Alcohol Ink the hell's in it? Hang on, let me see if I can, hold on, let me go to my laptop and see if I can, without shutting us all down, get the, the name of that, uh, the link of that. Hang on one sec. Don't anybody leave me. Where are you, little page? Alcohol Ink Art. If you go to Facebook and, and search alcohol, ink, art, three words, you'll find it. And you'll know this girl's stuff when you see it because it will make your jaw drop. But she uses encaustic with alcohol inks on Upo. And I don't have a clue how to do that, but I want to try to do it. And I, I feel a, a, an experiment going way bad when I think about putting that hot wax with flammable alcohol inks. Um, I'm trying to find her name on here real quick and I'm scrolling and scrolling. Usually she's all over the place. Oh wow, you guys should see. Oh, you need to go over there. Not now, of course, but you and you can join the crowd. They'll, you know, they'll it's a closed group, but they will um, welcome you in. And um, that's when I got that itch and started doing that, um, those tiles and stuff. I can't find her right now, but if you go to Alcohol Ink Art, you will find her. There you go. Yeah, I have to figure out, like, I, I don't, you know, I've looked at a lot of videos on encaustics and, um, I don't know. She looks a little tricky. And I, I don't, when you see, you have to look at her stuff. I'm trying to figure out what the hell did she do to make it look like that. <laughs> you love my experiments. Meanwhile, Dave's upstairs upping our homeowner's insurance for coverage. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now I, I knew what I was going to do here for a minute ago. Okay. Oh, you know what? I said beige, but I do, I want, do want white up there. I think. Don't I? Yeah, what the hell. 
All right. Hmm, she says as she gets the wad of white paint ready to slap over something she likes, but I feel you, Jane. Here we go. My God. Oh, we're no going back now, people. I'm in deep. I'm committed. I should be committed. Christ. Okay, give me a straight edge here, people. That's almost well, let's go here. Yeah, no kidding. Right, almost off myself down here one night with the airflow. Yeah, I've got three hours on this puppy, so I'm good till 10 o'clock. If I finish before, I'll go up and see the hubs a little bit. But I, um, if I don't, I have till 10 to record. They give me a three-hour limit on here. Damn it, I want to stop that edge right there and I keep going past it. Be smart. There you go. Think, girl, think. Hmm. Well, looky there. <laughs> Um, it's good sites that have, I've, all the big art stores like Dick Blick, I think Jerry's Artorama, Cheap Joe's, they were off, Utrecht, they were offering some, um, some sales. Uh, I don't know, you'd have to look at the websites, I didn't really investigate any of them that much. Last thing I need to be buying is art supplies now for all the Christmas shopping I gotta do. <laughs> Although I bought some today. <laughs> hey, God. Let's see if I need to thumb it off. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay, I'm not sure I like in that. Oh, that's a good idea. Getting some of the paint off through a stencil. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Hang on. Do I have any at hand? Here's my box of my little ones that I have close by. Mm, here's some Punchinella. Simple enough, huh? Yeah, free schmees. I'm sure there's a 12-step program out there for my ailment, but I've been fighting joining it. Tooth and nail. <laughs> I think my husband started one. He hasn't been able to wrangle me into going, though. Little rascal. I don't know if this is going to be showing anything through the white here, but maybe a little bit. Probably ought to put some alcohol in there, huh? Oh, ah, hang on, my tripod just fell off the table. Sweet Jesus. Pay attention, girl. Okay, now I'm obsessed. I'm going to get this off of there. 
And I'm going to get it off of there. Hang on. I have a little bottle of alcohol around here somewhere. There we go. In my alcohol ink little bin. My bin of tricks. It's working a little bit. Yeah, I do have some metallic paints. She has sales on the side of my little 10 crafters workshop stencils for $18. Huh? Where'd you see that one, Lisa? Alright, let's see what... That's a little bit of a... A shadowy effect. That's kind of cool. Thank you. I forgot who gave me that idea, but thank you very much. Um, let's see if I can do it up here. This isn't quite as wet, but let's see if what I can do up here. Even if I get a little shadow effect off of there, it'll be good. Ooh, that was, that's very, very faint, but that's okay. Oh, God, I love hers. Julie Fay Fan Balzer. Love her stencils, and she is a hoot. If you ever have a chance to take a class with her, I love that girl. She is awesome and um, such a good teacher. Really has, has a has has a good um, way of getting the point in your beanie little head and and getting it. And um, she's a lot of fun. On top of that, yeah, this stuff is dry and ain't going nowhere. But that's okay. I'll come back and get you later. This, yeah, sounded like a good idea. Not liking what happened up here. But, whew, blow that alcohol out of here too. Sweet Moses. That is, um, oh, yeah, 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 hang on, I forgot about that, guys. I'm happy to do that. Let me, I think this is how I do it, right? Allow links. Okay, you should be able to link it up. Try that again, Erica. Um, I just, I just allowed the links. I meant to do that, um, I forget about that when you guys have to remind me because I don't mind links if you want to put if you have a blog and you want to link your blog to share it or anything it don't feel like I don't want you to do that you can that's fine with me it's fine with me okay this I don't like I'm gonna come back over with a little bit more white I'm gonna dry that a little bit It's funny, the, the camera right in here is showing more of that Punchinella shadow than I actually see in person. <laughs> How is that possible? I really like this down here, though. Oh, so you know what I'm going to do? Ah, there you go. Link it up, baby. A cherry. Oh, a cherry on top. Yeah, I remember them. I remember seeing them. So you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to slap a little weight down here and pull it up. Where's my white brush? Good Lord, alcohol. Better throw that away. <laughs> Good thing I don't smoke. I'm going to go down here with some white. Try that a little bit. Scrappingwarehouse.com. You know what? Are they the same as scrapbook.com? Because I think I put that in one time and I ended up on the same site. I think they're related. Possibly. I do. Um. There's a little more of that foggy look. That's kind of cool, huh? Me likey. So let me do something. I need to, I feel the need. I feel the need. Oh, great, uh, Katie. Have a good night, honey. Thanks for coming on. And you can catch up with us later. I'll put it up on YouTube when we're done. Um, where's my black paint? Here we go. Okay. This needs some black going on here. Let me use this size brush will work. I'm not watching the chat right at the moment. I'm trying to get my circle to look something like a circle. <laughs> they don't call me Steady Hand Luke, you know. I used to give away my age all the time. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I think I saw it on an old western when I was a kid. Bigger and bigger. <laughs> Yikes. Hey. Color in the lines for Christ's sake. Whoosh. Oh look, a big black circle. I have a silhouette. Hang on, hang on. I'm checking up. I'm catching up on the chat. 
I don't have a silhouette. Forty percent off. Um. Little snippet there. And I'm feeling a little bar right here for some reason. That stark black. I love my papa. Okay, let's see what's going on here. All right, what do I need? What do I need? Let me dry a little bit. Where the hell is my... There we go. <laughs> I'm off kilter. <laughs> I do really like how this shadowy design is here. That was an excellent idea. But I actually watched Jane do and completely forgot about it. Oh hell. Black and my white, white and my black. Stop with your head. <laughs> You know, I wonder how this, um, where is it? Hello, where are you, paper? There we go. Like that? Lisa, I think I I think I'm gonna do that. I saw that advertised, and um, that looks awfully yummy to be right here and not do it. So I, I'm pretty sure. Are you gonna do that? Oh, see, I'm glad you guys said that because that didn't even occur to me. I was just thinking, leave that stark, but maybe you're right. here <laughs> maybe you is right girls let's see you see which one's darker Down there, girl. How about that? Okay, Catherine. No worries. We'll barely be here. <laughs> I 
I think you can um, I think you can sign up for it now and there's only a hundred spots so um, who all were the teachers coming for that do you remember Joanne Sharp Pam Carriker stencil girl right that's a stencil girl workshop thing so um, gosh why can't I think of her name uh, Mary Beth Shaw. I think there was a fourth one. I didn't know. But yeah, sounds like it would be... Oops, where am I? Good lord, I'm that... Camera must have spun around. Hang on. No, I'm going to have a cranked up back trying to keep up this camera spiraling around out of control. <laughs> What am I doing? What am I doing? I think I need another strip of this stuff. Where the hell did it go? I wonder if any of this, how that would look somewhere. I look at that over the red with the red peeking through a little bit. Hey, Doreen. I'm going to cut this piece, actually, to get it right on there and see what happens. Straight edges be damned. <laughs> let's see. All right, let's go for it and see what happens. There she goes. We'll see what happens. Sue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sue Peltier or whatever her name is. How you say it? Yeah, I've never taken any Sue's classes. I've taken Joanne Sharp class before. I know Mary Beth. Um, not big palsy wowsy, but I mean, I know where I've bought from her. I've talked to her love her stencils. I need a little of my other scripty one. Oh, there you are. Hello, lover. This one. I love this. I love this. I love this. I can't remember the name of it now. And I gotta remember it because I must have more. It's not, it's like petroglyphs, maybe was it called? Yep. Something like that. I'm just making a big old mess right there. Come on. Lord, I decoupage it to my drop paper. I did not get her book. Um, I know she has one out. But I'm thinking if she comes there, we could probably get an autographed copy. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to, are you going to go to Queen's Inc. the weekend of the 7th and 8th? I actually volunteered to help Patty with uh, what the, whatever part of the event I can help her with. Um,
that's kind of showing through. The red showing through those little fuzzy holes. She's, Patty's doing a, um, her, uh, are you, assuming you're signed up for Queen's Inc. emails, you'll get the notice about her, the event coming up on the first weekend of December. Next weekend, actually. Um, week from tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. And if you bring a, a gift to donate to the cause, she, the, um, you get a, um, I think she usually gives you a discount for bringing something to donate. And if you pay in cash, you get an extra um, discount instead of charging it. You know, they have to pay, when if you charge something, they have to pay for um, the fees for, you know, for the credit cards. Um, so, where am I? Where's my other little squiggly thing? Hmm. Is there a place for you here, little swirl? I think maybe not. I think the answer's no. Go home. Let me see what else I got over here. What do I got going on here? Yes, it's it's um, the seventh and eighth. It is next weekend. Showing up is. Oh, you know what? Maybe these little. Maybe this little bit right here. I love pulling those apart that way. <laughs> Such a genius move. Christ, I got teal all over the thing. A little bit of that. Maybe one of these. Good Lord, almost stuck my brush in my teacup. <laughs> oh, off to the ER we go. Let me have some. Oops. Oh, just fuffed them all over the place here. Let me have some. Give me some choices here. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a good birthday present. <laughs> nope, too much, too much, too much. I need, I need something. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I need. <laughs> Damn, paper's curling up. Um, these things, Katie, this is um, on artist grade tissue that I got at Dick Blick. And I just stamped rubber stamps with archival ink. And then I'm just using a wet paintbrush to wet cut them out of the tissue and then they break right away. That's what I did. Um, 
That looks a little phallic, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, uh. But I kind of like it there. Maybe I'll go this way. <laughs> Stop the rumors before they start, you know what I mean? Don't like it as much. Hmm. Looks too contrived. Um, too close to that other stuff. I don't know. You might end up going there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not liking that edge right there. Let me see what I can do about that. This bucket over here, with the, I have a big bucket for water because I always run out of clean water. And it looks like pepto -Bismol from that Quinn Red and the white. Looks like a... Yeah. Yeah. I see that. Oh, Lord. Got my scissors in the teal. <laughs> Calamity Jane trying to do something here. I want just a little bit of white. And I'm going to clean up that edge right there. I don't want to cover my little bubbles. Okay. Talk to me, Jane. Jane, Jane Davies. I can't hear you, girl. Give me some guidance. Where am I? Trying to catch up on the chat. Um, too late. What did I do? I must have missed Mr. Q. <laughs> you know, this corner and this corner just aren't doing too much for me. I like this. I like this. These are kind of blase. Sorry, I keep dragging it out of frame. It's actually far away from me the way the camera angle is. Um, well... Good idea. <laughs> Something needs to interrupt up here. What are you? Oh, great. And look, <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Honestly, are you that much of a boob? Clearly are. Look, I must show. Hello, right through my palette of my beige paint. You know, <laughs> some days it's just like that. Nothing you can do about it. That one. <laughs> Or that one? Nope. <laughs> uh, 
I think I'm going to put a little something up there. Uh, I feel the need for something up there. Why not? I need a little something up here. Not, not liking it so much. Why not a little zebra? So this way, or that way, that does look a little cupy doll, doesn't it? Maybe white paint pen on the black phallic shape. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not thinking in terms of that final layer yet, where I would do stuff like that. I, I you know, I've been thinking about what would I doodle on here and stuff, but I'm not at that layer yet, I don't think. I think I still need... I'm feeling some, I don't know. I don't know. But I don't like that white square right there. I like the circle. I don't like the edges. I don't like the edges of that. Maybe bring in more red there, huh? Put a tissue layer over the black phallic symbol because the paper's so transparent. <laughs> I wonder if I did that. I broke it up that way. Something about this bugs me. It's like a block of red, a block of brown, blah, blah, blah. It needs, that needs to be busted up, I feel. I feel like busting it up. But how would one maybe do that? One would ask. Well, I think I'm going to do some red around this while I'm thinking. That's what I think I'm going to do. I think I might do a red circle right around here. Too much circle? Maybe some... I don't want to make it look like a sun. Maybe a dash... dashes of red? Maybe I'll just paint the square red, since we got kind of squares everywhere. All right, time's a wasting, girl. Start doing something. Here we go. Call me crazy. Been called worse.
I'm not actually looking at the chat right now, girls, so I'm trying to get this circle cut in there. Now I wonder if I took a little alcohol yeah I think I like that better huh now maybe I'll break it up a little bit with some I wonder if I should try to lift some off I can paint it up again, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. That looks kind of good. I kind of like it. I like that a little bit better. This, still not liking that. I'm not feeling, I love this. Not feeling that. It might have to go bye bye. Yep. Might have to snuff it. And this, I think I'm going to put, I don't want this to get in the way of this. I like, I like that. Maybe if I go like over that. That's kind of kind of like that. That's what I'm going to do. Got to watch my time. 9:14. Okay, I got about 9:14. A little less than 40 minutes left. Oops, which side is that stamped on? can't really tell <laughs> oh oops oopsie don't crunch up on me girl stay with me Bessie actually maybe if I drop it down like that so I'm not up into the other one Ooh, delicate to see you maybe like that it's there now <laughs> that's where she's going right there okay this if you see this in person that just looks dirty to me I don't mean like I'm here Jess <laughs> it just kind of looks dirty and smutchy and right it's not I don't like it I love the dots the red and the, the Nicolazzo dots coming through there. I'm loving that. But the rest, she got to go. Yep. Done. I'm done with I'm done with worrying about it. I'm getting rid of it. How about that? Executive decision. But how shall I get rid of it? Shall I maybe Oh, wait a minute. I'm thinking of something crazy here. Thinking of something crazy. I wonder, 
if I painted it out in black. And tried to lift off like I did the paint to seep bits of this through it. Hmm. Um, this stamp, Donna. If you're talking about that one, it's I carved it. I, I stole my friend. Well, I borrowed. She knows I have it. Um, my friend Ellen Vargo is it's freaking awesome. And uh, I just love every time we were together. I said, Let me, can I use the stamp? Can I use the stamp? And uh, so we were carving stamps one day, and I just said, Mind if I carve your stamp? <laughs> so I'm to keep taking yours. I keep telling her she should carve her stamps and, and sell them because she's got some really awesome designs. Um, I think I told you before to check out her blog, 1036 Arts and Crafts. It's Ellen Vargo, V-A-R-G-O. Okay, you know what I'm doing? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Feeling pretty ballsy and I'm going to do it. Where the hell's my brush? Okay, here we go. We're going right up to here with black. And you know, I'm going to go right down to here with black. Ho oh, oh. ho! You saw it here, people. I oh, know. Crazy lady. Blacking out her collage. But I do have a thought, and hopefully. It's going to work. <laughs> so I won't be happy if it doesn't work. But we'll just try something else. And that got too muddled up. It just was not, I was not feeling it. I got to feel it, people. I got to feel it. Okay, here we go. Big black blob. Okay, now I'm going to dry this a little bit, but not much. And I'm going to get a clean paper towel. What are you just going to do, Donna? Carbon stamp? Oh, you know what? Where do I have that bigger punchinella? Uh oh, that would be lovely. Where are you, bigger punchinella? Let me find you before my damn paint dries. There we go. That'll work. Oh, yeah. Yep. I don't pass out from the alcohol. This may just work. Or it may look like shit. I'm going with shit. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Hang on. Don't anybody panic. Man. Oh, crap. I think she might have, uh, might have dried it too much. I wonder if I should just be doing water. 
instead of gassing myself with the alcohol. Ooh, lordy. Where's my water? I notice I'm missing some of my regulars tonight. They're probably doing family-ish things for Thanksgiving. Having fun, I hope. Okay, here we go. Oof, stand back, folks. Oh yeah, put it on glass um, and slide the glass. Rrr. Oh, not too sure about that, Bessie. Hmm. Jury's still out on that one. paint off my Punchinella. And try to get some of this off of here. Is that about right? Oops. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. Don't fight me. You got to talk to your materials, you know. my paper. Oh, you dumbass. <laughs> no. Not that. This was um, not one of my brightest ideas. try Mr. Clean spot oh the Mr. yeah that eraser I did actually on something else when I first saw that and it was like work okay but not like my favorite thing ever of course this is not my favorite thing ever either Well, um, hmm. look what we got there. <laughs> hey. That just doesn't, you know, it's not really too bad, but it kind of doesn't go. You know what I mean? It's not cohesive. So, um, hmm. That sounded like a really good idea in theory. Hmm. All right, any suggestions on that mess? Oh, it just went from dirty to dirtier. <laughs> You dirty, dirty page, you. Um, ain't that a bite? Well, I think... Um, mm, where do we go from here? <laughs> are, you, uh, are you asking me what was my favorite thing ever? 
Yeah, oh, God, Erica, I know. I, I um, I learned so much by my screw-ups. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably splatter some black um, at the end, um, Jackie. Cut it up and rearrange it. I mean, cut this up and cut it out of the out of my thing. Hmm. Let me um, have a little bit of paper towel, a little bitty bit of water. Can I clean this up anymore? Make it a little brighter. Still coming off of that one. Oh, that's that brown paper underneath there. No wonder. Oh, good idea gone bad. So, okay. What tools do I have to correct this mess? Turquoise, turquoise circle to brighten the corner. Yeah, I do hate that color. It's going to be tough on me. It's grungy, all right. It just doesn't... It doesn't... Um, I wasn't going for any kind of an oriental kind of a flavor, but with the red and the black and the this kind of scrolly stuff, this isn't Japanese clearly, but in the golden red, it kind of feels that way a little bit. But that, meh. so I wonder <laughs> if I do peekaboo with gold over it. What do you think? That might actually work. And I'll leave that little edge of black down there. Happy turkey day indeed. Gonna have me a leftover sandwich when I wrap this up and go upstairs. Dave put a breast in. We went to my brother's for turkey. They had a 32 pound turkey. I thought it was a freaking ostrich in the pan. And um, Took a long, a little bit longer to cook. Had a little miscalculation on the uh, the cooking time, but it was good when we got done. But Dave said the other day, he said, "Let's get a breast and just cook it." So we got plenty of leftovers for sandwiches for ourselves. I get out of here. So we did, and he cooked that thing, and he just cooked it in an oven bag. And I don't know if it was just a really good turkey, or I mean, he's a good cook, but. That was the best damn turkey breast I think I've ever had. And I love a turkey sandwich with um, mayonnaise, cranberry sauce, salt, and pepper. Oh, Mama Sita, I could... Oh, that's my favorite sandwich. And I don't know if I was just so hungry for one, but when we cut that sucker up yesterday, or the day before, I guess, we made it Wednesday. Wednesday night, we had it. Oh, my God, was that ever good. All right, that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to let this be exposed underneath here. Give me a little bit of that. Cut that out of there. That's what we're doing. <laughs> this might really yuck it up, but it's going down, people. It's a going down. This thing's going to be a quarter inch thick by the time I finish with this corner. Hey. So my vision starting off. Nothing like this. <laughs> Not a thing like this. Although I don't hate it. Um, I usually have no clue. Every once in a while I have an inkling and then I never end up like it. So maybe that's why I try to go in. Crap shooting it every time. All right. 
Well, we can't get it much worse, so I have this little piece now. Should I do something with that? Is it calling to me enough to do that? Well, let's see where we are with this first. <laughs> Darn right, that's a good sandwich. Ah, oh, yeah, we didn't end up with any of that leftovers. That's why I, I always like to cook dinner, so we have a lot of the leftovers. We go a lot away, but um, we didn't get any of that good stuff this time. Oh, I think I do have some of my macaroni and cheese up there that we brought back, though. Do I'll have that when I go upstairs. Yeah, so, I'm. Um, oh, sweet Mary, this is in the paint, this is in the paint, this is over here in the paint. What the hell am I doing? It's so out of control at all times. Got a little gold shimmer to it. There you go. Yeah, Donna, are you going to try my recipe? All right, now I feel the need for... The need, the need for speed. Top Gun painting. <laughs> Let's see. Good, let me know how you like it. The chilies are even, they're mild enough. They just give it a little bit of flavor, but even the kids, uh, kids like it. Okay, so tell you what I'm going to do. Where am I going to do it? <laughs> right about... Where the hell did my other little swirly thing go? Two. I thought I had three of them cut out. Huh. Little piece of that gold from that. Nope, get away. Maybe here. I'm feeling a turquoise circle. <laughs> Better welcome back. Thanks for joining in. I'll talk to you later. Right in there, maybe. Over here. Bigger up here, bigger around here. Hmm. What to do? Well, oh damn, my turquoise paint's all gnarled up. Okay, um. Buckle up my sleeves. So a little bit of the turquoise is showing through here, and a little bit of the red showing through there, and I kind of like that. Shouldn't be that big of a decision, should it? 
maybe just and then I'm gonna cover that up all right I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm about to do it stand back people maybe I can come in from up there in that corner and then opposing one over here or one just down here so many choices so little time out of the damn frame again sheesh this camera I'm actually leaning I got about eight inches of the table in front of me between here and there I'm usually used to working right up close on it hmm I don't even know how that uh, paper is going to take paint, but okay, screw it. Here we go. It's more like an oval, huh? Love circles, but can't draw or paint a damn one. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. Bye, Pat. All right. Well, I did that. How do you like that? I think I need a little bit more of this turquoise down here, though. Since I got a little bit more on my palette, we'll just redo that line right there. Get a little bit thicker blue in there. Well, I think I'm going to start assuming that it's getting close to being done and maybe start going with some of more of my other marks and stuff that I might want to do. I'm going to walk over to my other table real quick and grab my Montana marker. There it is. I got it. I was doing a canvas for somebody the other day and left a few of my supplies over there. There 
cares, Jean? I was just talking about you. Not by mentioning names, but since some of my regulars. We're actually, I gotta wrap up at, at 10 o'clock. I'm gonna lose my three hours. Um, but um, I'm just about done. But it's recorded, so I'll throw it up on them. Um, Shutterbug, that's Erica. How was Miss Jean's turkey day? <laughs> so I'm probably not going to completely finish this uh, before my next 20 minutes, but I'll probably come down tomorrow when it's really dry and put some final touches on it, and then I'll post some pictures on my on my Facebook art page, Inky Obsessions page. But I can tell you, I'll be looking for more of this paper right here tonight. Hoping Santa Claus brings me some. <laughs> I wanted to put a little... Um, Ladane, I'm not really on a regular schedule. Um, I want to get there. Maybe that'll be my New Year's resolution. Along with losing weight. And... All that kind of good stuff. But, um, uh, maybe I'll come out. I don't know, uh, you know, when it, when is a good time to do it that I can get a lot of my, the people that are, have been faithful watching. And I, and I know I have people overseas that want to do it in the evenings after work because I work full time too. Damn jobs killing my social life, I got to tell you. Love my job. Don't take it wrong. Love my job, but it uh, does cramp my style. <laughs> Blue circle in a back screen and I'm pooey. Well, that's not right. I've had my iPod running beside my, I mean my iPad, beside my laptop all night. And a couple people said they dropped off and came back. Anybody see that uh, blue circle of death Jean's talking about? That little ditty right there. Okay, where am I going with this? My fabulous Montana marker. I'm feeling the need for something here. Okay, I definitely feel the need to make a straight line here and up here. And I probably got to cap it off by doing it there. 
and there. Let me catch up on my chat. Yeah, I know, Brenda. I love these things. This is my Montana. Um, it's the 15 mil millimeter um, nib. And that's how I can make those flat little marks like that that I like to make. I like to make them. And this helps me make them. Um, I need something in those little blue circles right there, but I don't know what that's going to be yet. I'm not sure which way this which way I like this oriented I can't get the camera far enough away from it. it's too big this way this away this away oh, this away the text kind of throws me off it makes me want to read the text but I'm not going to live by the text ruling my world. Um, <laughs> I had a little cap. I don't have my marks, mark makers over here. But let's see if I got enough paint left. make a little mark somewhere. I'm feeling one right about there. Ah. They yeah, they do sell them at Michaels now. Um they keep them in a locked case back in our art department where ours is, but um they are nice. And Liquitex makes a brand now, too. Actually, I have some laying right here. A couple of them that I was using on that canvas I just did. These are the Liquitex ones. Um, the Liquitex has a lot more colors. Um, the paint is a little bit thinner, I think. Um, but they have a lot more colors. Um, musical Scrapper, right, Jean? Um, Jean, put your link up for your, um, any of your stuff that you want to share, because they, they, these guys should see your, um, your streams. kind of digging my turquoise circles instead of my... Just black. Can't believe I said dig. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Hey. Over here, do I feel one over here? Where do I feel you? 
Where do I feel you? A little turquoise circle right up there. That's where I feel you. Oh, no, it's an e even number. Must be odd. Must be odd. I'm thinking one down here off the corner and the edge. Yes, there's a link up. Yeah, you guys should sign up and check, uh, follow Jean's, um, she does a lot more, uh, Ustreams than I, uh, than I do, and they're fun. So, what's the clock saying? 9.51. This bad boy's gonna cut me off here in a few minutes, girls. So, um, I guess for now we'll assume this is where we are. So, I'll try to go crossed all the little bits. I'll be doing more to those turquoise circles. I don't like them just bland there. And that gold shimmery paper. Where's my shimmer? There you go. Little shim shim. And my little shadowy dots. This even perked me up down here. So I like that pop of that turquoise right there and that gold and the red yeah baby and I love how this one came out that real shadowy look there's the bottom and there's through the center that you might not have seen so that's where we are That's where we are. <laughs> what am I going to do here? I don't know. I'm itching to do something else. Where's my... Where the hell did I... Here it is. Hmm. Are they big enough? I wonder if I should just put black around them. That's what I'm going to do. I wonder if I can use my acrylic marker... No kidding, Erica. Whew, sweet Jesus. You'd think with all this learning I'd be smart by now, wouldn't you? This, um, I'm just using this to paint up my edge. Never thought of that before, but we'll see how it works. Because she's going down right there. Oh, looky there. Perfection. Why didn't I ever think of that as much as I do this? Oh, Lord. See, that's what I mean. That, to me, worth is, is worth the price of admission for tonight. Because I'm usually doing this with black gesso in the lid, and it gets goopy, and bleh, and this, how simple is this? Christ. And I got a bunch of colors. I can make circles of every color. Oh, I'm a happy girl now. I am just too easy. I'm telling you. Yeah, they're a little bit more stand, they stand out a little bit more, right? I like that. That makes me happy. Of course, it doesn't take my... Oh, <laughs> of course. I, I, can't, I went to show you. I put my cap on. Had my shirt pinched in my cap and my pen. Great. Um, yeah, I'm feeling something else. And I don't know what that is exactly. Thanks, Brenda. Oh, here we go. Your three-hour recording will be stopped in three minutes. So there you go, girls. Learned a lot myself. Not my favorite thing I've ever done, but I, I it's growing on me. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Jean, you have a link for your blog? There you go. Yes, do check her out. So, I got uh, probably two minutes. Thanks, you check it out. And I'm going to get abruptly uninvited <laughs> to, to stay, on the, stay on the line. But um, three hours ought to hold me. Thanks for joining me, guys. I know it's a holiday weekend. 
Some people are probably still out there Black Friday shopping. Wouldn't be out there in a friggin' bet. You can believe that. But, um, kind of like it. So enjoy the rest of your weekends. There you go. Good. good. I'm glad you got your links in, Jean. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekends. Ladane, it was great to have you here too, hon. Hope you can join again. And maybe the new year, maybe I'll try to pick out a night. It would have to be a night because I work during the day. Oh, look at my, like, my nice hands. Um, I work during the day full time, so it would have to be on a weekend or in an evening. So, um, night, Donna. Happy macaroni and cheese. <laughs> so, there we go, girls. Thanks for joining. I appreciate your time. Um, I'll try to do it again soon. Thanks for sharing it with me. Night, guys. Night, Jackie. Yeah, I'll, I'll push it out to YouTube too, Jean. As soon as I get, uh, as soon as I wrap it up and get my brushes all cleaned up and all that kind of good stuff. Bye, Erica. Night, everybody. Thanks so much for joining. Always fun to have company. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> oh, that's right. The New Year's Eve Streamathon. 22 hours. Sweet Mary. <laughs> that is a riot. I'll, I'm sure I'll be popping in and out for some of that, Gene. I have I don't know if we have plans or not. I'm supposed to have shoulder surgery in, on the 13th. I'm not sure I'm going to go through with it yet or not. Starting in Australia. Oh, wow. One of my best friends is in Australia. She moved. Night, Jean. Glad you got to duck in. <laughs>